Hello, this is Palico Fudge, and welcome back to more of RimWorld, the outdated alpha. And we are currently having lots of uh, prisoners. Oh, Chef, they're not too good. Sort of lying on top. Is there two in there? Is that the problem, Chef? Oh, and Redfields. Uh, we probably need to shift Redfields' body. That's probably not going to do their morale very good at all. In fact, you go do that now. Chef probably doesn't appreciate having a dead body in his bed. I'll speed this up a little. So well, yes, we we survived a, a bit of a uh, a bit of a uh, raid. That's the word I'm looking for. And it's just really further iterated the fact that we don't really have very good defences. Ivy's infected. We're not going to be worried too too much about her at the moment. We need a few more sandbags around, I think. But before we do that, we need to put down the last of our floor and make that into an extra room, because if there's anyone decent here, we might try and take them on. As long as, long as they don't go too loco. So, oh, why is, the, why is the cow going into there? I thought I'd restricted that. Yep, yep, yep. No, we didn't restrict that because we changed it before, didn't we? Good times, so... Get rid of that there, and... That there, no one wants you in their bedroom. And did we make that cloth? Yes. Do we have enough cloth? Maybe we haven't got enough cloth for that. That could be the issue. But it's just getting hauled, it's just getting smelted. It's not looking good for Ivy. Not looking good for Ivy. And we need to change up this food as well. The food is running pretty low. So we want simple meals before fine meals. We'll knock that up to 40. I think we have to go hunting. You'd have thought all those broom rats we killed would be alright, but apparently not. Apparently not. Let's let's just take out the broom lopes. I think that's enough for that. They they carry a lot of meat, I believe. And we're also going to need to put up some more security. So Are you dying? Is that the problem? Oh, uh, Chef's not happy. So we'll buy that off for the time being. Yeah, sorry, Debbie. Uh, right, so let's just have a quick look. Is there anyone worth actually getting here? Uh, so, Kruka's pretty good, but Kruka's the uh, one missing the, the leg. Yeah, so you're no good. We'll be selling you. Chef, uh, it's a bit hot for you. I'll put a vent in there at some point. Are you any good? Psychically dope. Trigger happy in a slow poke. Not too bad. Excellent, Chef. Makes sense, really. Uh, crafting's good. Shooting's okay. It's an okay person. Okay person. Eva, cold lover, abrasive and industrious. No, you can be sold. I'm not having anyone abrasive in here. Uh, trigger happy and a fast walker. It's capable of scary. So it doesn't like putting out fires, but good medic. Not too bad. Let's... Chef, 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 chef. Chef's okay. Let's... Chef's calm down as well. Let's, uh... Let's try and chat to Chef. We'll do friendly chats on those guys. And we'll try and recruit Ivy as well. Why not? Why not? So, 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 so. We need more sandbags. So I'm thinking we need some on the corners for when the... The turrets have been attacked. Uh, for the same stretch of things, just a few there. Uh, two out. Oh. Now we might be expanding here with another room in a minute, so we'll leave that for the time being. I think that's decent enough. Maybe a little one there. Excuse me a second. <coughs> ah. I'm still dying if you haven't guessed. Uh, and then we'll do one on this corner. Same same thing, so sort of That's okay. And we'll bring this one out as well, so to there. And then we can get rid of those. Yeah, that's pretty good, that's pretty decent. Um, let's just put 
one in there too, just so they've got a bit of protection from that way around in case this turret gets taken on. And they can hide in the doorways of the others. That's that's good, that's good. I'm happy with that, I'm happy with that. Alright, we've got some visitors from Loyalty's Forest, although... Oh, we have a visitor from Lord. Oh no, she's just a slow one. What's up with you, Kit? Two cataracts is a frail person and has heat stroke. And you're only 56. It's too early, too early to be uh, suffering. We don't have a lot of food. Have we killed all those boomerlopes? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we have. Gotta love the boomerlopes. I think we need more food, so we need to hunt more. Anything big we can take on? I'm a bit scared about taking on any... Uh, take on any of the elephants, although they, they would appear to have migrated. Oh, there's one. Uh, the alpaca I'm not too fussed of. There's some more there. Might as well take them all out. Need the food. Do I have to take out the boomerlopes? Oh, there's just something about boomerlopes. Oh, we've got some cargo pods. What do we have in our cargo pods? Oh, it's close as well. Potatoes! Awesome, that will help with the... Uh... Whoa, even more cargo pods! With even more food! It's like, please don't kill all the animals. Uh, I'm just wondering, where has... We're missing... Someone's died. Kruka, Chef, and Ivy. Someone died. I can't remember who. Okay, never mind. Well, we're going to have plenty of food anyway. That's that's good. Booker's upset. Oh, an ancient dead. As Victor draws near the ancient wall, a sense of foreboding overcomes him. He isn't sure why, but he feels that his dust, this dusty structure may contain great danger. Where's that? Ah, yes, yes. Uh, well, we know about that. Uh, we're going to have a look into that at some point. Pretty soon as well, um, I think. Might be worth doing. Soto's hard at work. We've got plenty of stuff to be selling. Who's broken? Booker. Who'd have thunk it? Uh, let's uh, just carry on putting the light in here. And a bed as well. That's another room made up. Oh, we're going to put a vent in there, won't we? Oh! Are people dying or... Is yeah, well, I guess so. Yeah, I guess so. Ivy's dead. Okay. Still got Chef, and we're still trying to recruit Chef. Is Chef dead? Chef's dead. They're all dying. Oh, Scout's dead. Oh, it's because 56 degrees. Well, that's one way to deal with the prisoners, I suppose. <laughs> uh, it's just a bit warm. Well, whilst there's no one in there, let's make a vent, I think. Uh, so, 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 so. Temperature. The vent. So, lesson learned for next time. Book is just going to stand there. That's fine. So, it's 48 outside, 48 on the inside. Maybe I just need more coolers. And I suppose we better put a vent into there too. Wow. Mega warm. Mega warm. Not a lot I can do about it, I'm hoping. Yeah, that's still staying pretty cool, so that's fine. And we're doing okay for power. We keep pushing the power up. So, yeah, we've got a, f a bit spare at the moment. How much does a cooler take? 200 watts. So we're okay for the time being. 
Research has gone along nicely. Heatwave is over, thank Christ, in which case. No, we'll leave that there. We'll leave that there. Let's strip Kruker down. Uh, that's 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 okay. That's okay. So this this place is oh okay. That that work its way out. That's fine. I suppose Victor's still busy doing doing that. Oh, Victor's lost the hat. You're gonna get hot. You're gonna get hot. Let's uh, let's check out their gear. So who's hurt? What's going on? Rhinoceros revenge. Why are you starting on a rhinoceros? Victor, what? Victor, you you need to you need to go to bed, and hope that the rhinoceros gets bored of you. Why can't? Are you on fire? Is are you on fire? Is that? Yeah, you're on fire. You still on fire? You're still on fire. As soon as you're out of fire, please, please stop being on fire. Right, Victor, go to bed. And that rhino, what's he going to do? He's just wondering. Oh, lordy. Oh, we've got the computer core sorted. Uh, in which case, uh, hang on, let's just pause that. Let's just build the last thing we need to do, which is the ship antimatter reactor. Then we can start looking at building that up. So, Victor is legging it. Let's slow this down. I'm hoping these turrets can take them out. Still attacking, still attacking Victor. Jeez. Awesome. Well, the milky bars are on me. Uh, at least that will pull out all the fires and we can collect some of these boomerlopes. Who's... what? Booker... Booker is running around naked. <sighs> okay, so... Where is everyone? Devi, can you rescue Booker? Soto, can you rescue Booker? Let him sleep it off, he'll be fine. Let him sleep it off. So... I think let's cancel hunting those. We're gonna have enough meat off these. Especially with that rhino. And we'll just I think we'll just individually choose who we hunt from now on. Oh we've got a combat supplier though. Uh Red. Grab the meat. Debbie, can you get Booker now? He's gonna, yeah, he's just gonna be left there. So, Debbie, come to the combat supplier. And right, oh, we've got a bit to sell. So, uh, we need to raise as much money as we can. Don't like Molotovs. Do we want grenades? Not really. Uh, get rid of the pillars. Peelers, short bows, great bows, great bow, pump shotgun, good. It means getting close though, doesn't it? So no, we don't want that. Steel knife, shift, limestone club, steel knife, steel club, sandstone club, steel gladius, steel club. How much is that? 460, that's rubbish. We're keeping the artillery shells. And, uh, that's it, that's nothing I want to buy, I don't think. That'll free up some space as well. Awesome. So yeah, we are looking at clothes for when Victor wakes up, just to give him something to do. So we have Soto dressed completely, Kelvin dressed completely, Red is dressed completely, and Victor needs a hat and a t-shirt. Um, Booker needs uh, everything. Now he's put some clothes on. Good. Right, so we need... T-shirt and two hats, I think.
Oh, two t-shirts. Uh, make them whatever you want. That's fine by me. Got this to claim yet. Debbie, can you uh, get this body? But it starts going rotten. Are we doing okay for food now? 40. So we're up to what we need for food. We've got plenty of meat. Potatoes will be along soon as well. So we'll get everyone dressed and I think we'll then go and see what's in that uh, in that big scary box thing here. That is the way to go. I don't think there's going to be anything down in this one. Get Kelvin to have a look I suppose. Uh, Come on, Kelvin. There might be something in here which is of interest. Where are you, Kelvin? Here he cometh. And we have... Nothing! Okay, so yeah, that is literally the only... If you, you might as well grab it whilst you're there. So th that is literally the last one we need to look at. And that's the big scary one. There might be some interesting stuff in there. So it would be worth poking about. Is Victor Factor shooting? No. No, no, no. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Cancel you. You, sir, are going to stand there. And just shoot it from where you are. So it seems as you've you know you've incapacitated it already. You might as well, you know, finish it off. There we go. And if you stand there, pull him out, pull him out, pull him out, pull him out, and then you can grab him quick. No, 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 no. Hang on, hang on. This is going terribly. Can you? Yeah, grab that and leg it. There we go, right. Is there anything else you need to kill? I should probably try and just have a look. Nothing there. Nothing there. Nothing to cancel. Nothing to cancel. No. 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 I think that's it. I think we've got everything. Awesome, right, so that means he should go and start making some clothes. Yes, right, awesome. Oh, Booker's picked up a hat anyway. Looking dapper. You know about that? Low medicine. That can't be far off now, this Aegeum. Almost there. Almost there. Squirrel self tamed. A squirrel has become tame. It is now designated Squirrel 1. Where are you? What can they do? You can train a squirrel to attack? Let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, we can name animals, can't we? How do we name animals? We need another bed as well. So we're going to can we change your name? One of the many hardy, versatile rodent species that follow humankind everywhere it spreads. No, can't name him. Never mind, that's alright. Be interesting to see who takes them on. I don't know if I've got anyone. Handling. Oh, I've got a couple of people handling. Victor and Kelvin. I don't think anyone else is too good at it. No, I'll see who picks them up first. Probably Kelvin, I'd have thought. So, looking good, looking good. So, we've got Victor making up some clothes just to get everyone dressed so no one's too unhappy. Especially him. He's not wearing a lot of clothes at the moment. I know it's relatively warm. Oh, yeah, we need to set that as well, though, don't we? So, uh, what do we set that one to? 14. 
so knock it down 10, knock it up 3. That's a nice temperature. That should hopefully regulate through there now, having it coming in from both ends. And we can always turn that down or up, as the case may be, when it gets into winter. Although I don't think we're going to suffer too much from the temperatures around here. Food is coming in very nice. I don't think there's a lot left to do other than uh, what you're making first, T-shirts. I'll say make yourself a hat. As soon as Victor's made himself a hat, we'll have to go and have a look at the, uh, the room down here and see what that's all about. That could get pretty interesting, he says. So, uh, yeah, we'll do that on the next one, I think. So thanks for watching, guys. As always, a like is appreciated, and I shall catch you on the next one. Take it easy. Wait.